Hello, good day everyone. This is Teps. Welcome back to this channel. We have a Hisense 32 inch smart TV. Model 32A5605. It's not turning on and no standby light indicator. I will show you how to fix it. If you are interested in electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you came to the right channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. The TV is not turning on, and no standby light indicator. So let's first measure the voltage on the secondary area. We can measure the voltages on the cathode of these rectifier diodes. 12.015 on this diode. 77.1 on this diode. 20.2 on this diode we have secondary voltages so the main power supply is okay now let's measure the DC to DC voltages we can measure the voltages on these group of ceramic capacitors 0.16 on these capacitors 0.34 volts on these capacitors the voltages are not normal and they are very low and some of the DC to DC converters have no voltage twelve point zero one seven volts on these capacitors seems this could be the input supply of these DC to DC converters we have low voltage on the DC to DC converter so now let's test for any short circuits the multimeter is sets in continuity mode long beeps mean a possible short circuit This capacitor has a short circuit. Even if these capacitors have a short circuit, it has a voltage of about 0.15 volts. I feel heat over these capacitors. 
In this case we don't need to inject an external voltage into the shorted capacitor just to pinpoint which component is creating the heat. Let's apply flux to this group of capacitors, as I suspected that it was creating heat. Also to the DC to DC chip, so we can see which is creating the heat. Now, let's plug the TV into the main. As you can see, this capacitor melts the flux. Let's see it closer. This capacitor melts the flux, so it is the bad capacitor. All capacitors test shorted because they are all connected in parallel. Let's remove the bad capacitor. The short circuit is gone. Let's pick up a capacitor from a TV timing control board. We don't know the capacitor's value. This type of ceramic capacitor does not indicate the capacitance or the voltage. We will select a capacitor that matches the size of the faulty capacitor. These capacitors are connected to the 3.3 volts rail line, and same the size of the bad capacitor, so this is the best choice. The capacitance is 10 microfarads. Now let's solder the capacitor in place.
We have a voltage now of about 5.1 volts. The DC to DC voltage regulator is now functioning properly. Let's put the hybrid board back in place and see if it will work. The TV looks working now. A few moments later. The TV is now working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. You can help this channel by liking and subscribing. Share the video and don't forget to ring the notification bell to keep you up to date. Once again, I'm Taps. See you again next time. Bye for now.